Welcome guys. In this video, we'll be talking about how do you extract data with no coding experience. You don't need any coding skills at all. So let's just get right into it. So this is my second video series which I'm building onto my data analyst series and if you're new to my channel I would recommend going back to my first video and starting from there. So in this video in the second series I'll be talking about how do you extract data and what do you do with that extracted data with no coding experience. So let's just get right into it. So in this case I'm using Google Sheets would be my place where I would be storing all the data and I would be using an API which is called Supermetrics. There are so many tools that are out there uh, which does which do exactly the same thing of extracting data. So let me just show you how do you extract data. So I'm going over to supermetrics.com. And in this Supermetrics, uh, what it basically does is you can just log into a free trial version. This trial version is good for two weeks. And uh, if you need to extract the data again, you can either take their full subscription or you can just open up a new account and then just start working from there. So if, if I press start trial, it takes me to this place and we need this specific one which is supermetrics for google sheets now this what this does is it basically connects with all these different data sources like google analytics facebook i'll get into all of that detail right about now so once you download this uh, and then you come over to your google sheets now what you have to do is you have to go over to add-ons and in add-on section you'll see that supermetrics come up would come up and you just go up there and you click on the launch sidebar button so once you're in there uh, you don't need any coding experience to get into this uh, all you have to do is just set up the dimensions set up few little options that you have to do and you're all set to go so what you have to do is basically these are all the options that you have for supermetrics and in the first one these are all the data sources where you can pull the data from and all you have to do is just connect with that specific uh, example and you're all set to go so in this specific example I would be going over so using Facebook ads so I have my Facebook ads connected to this and next I would be doing is basically selecting the account so if you have multiple accounts or multiple campaigns connected to Facebook you'll have to just basically select that specific account where you want to pull the data from and the second thing the uh, sorry the third thing that you have to do is select the date range so in this case uh, you can use one year one month depending on how long of the data you want to be extracted from and once you've set this up then you go down to metrics so before i get into this i would like to say there are two big things that you need to uh, make sure while you're extracting data the first thing is dimensions and the other thing is metrics so dimensions are basically anything that have name on it so i would say like if this like a campaign name or audience or ad sets or gender or location all these are dimensions and metrics are basically anything that has number on it so sessions if you're if you're pulling data out of google analytics then sessions would be a metric average page length would be page view would be uh, a metric uh, unique page views would be a metric so all these would be metric now in this case i've used all these metrics so amount spend reach impression clicks um all i want to do is uh, when i'd be pressing when i'd be done with this query that i'm setting up right now all these metrics would come up in my uh, Google Sheets. And the next thing is where it says split by. Split by is basically where you have to set up the dimensions. 
So in this case, I'm pulling the data by age and by gender. And there are so many options that are in here that you can pull uh, your data from. And you can select any of these dimensions. You can select one dimension, you can select 10 dimensions. Uh, the more dimensions you'll select, the more granular data you'll get. And once you've selected that, then you're all set. You just select the first column here. And now all you have to do is just press get data to the table. That's it. So in this specific example, I have already pulled out the data and this is where I would be going over. So by using that uh, super metrics, I was able to extract all the data. Now by extracting the data, I have little over 100 rows here. Uh, and now what I have to do is basically uh, figure out what I need to do with this data. So in this example, you literally did not need any sort of coding skills to extract data. There are people who will be doing using R, Python and all these uh, or SQL or all these fancy coding languages. But just by using this API, you can basically extract data and on the back end this api is basically writing the query for you so what you are basically doing is you're just selecting these little options that i've just went over and using that you're basically just doing that and on the back end that api writes the code for you and extracts the data so once you have all of that then you're all set to go so clearly you can see in this specific example you did not need any coding skills and you were able to extract data. And you can extract data from Google Analytics, Facebook, uh, AdWords, uh, AdRoll, uh, DCM, all the super metrics. These are all the data sources that or uh, data slices that I've pulled up using super metrics. So in this first example, I literally was using landing page path as my dimension and session users, new users, total time page, bounce rate page views, all of these were my metrics. Now in my second tab, in this specific example, I was using channel grouping as my dimension and source and medium as the other dimension. So in this case, my data would be broken out by channel grouping and then source medium. And then again, same metrics that I'm using so sessions, users, new users, total time, bounce rate, and all this data that I've pulled up, this is all coming from Google Analytics. In this third example, I was using country as my dimension and then channel grouping as my second example. So, so you can see in this one, the data would be broken out by country and then the channel grouping. These two are my dimensions here. and. The other uh, metrics that I've used here are literally the same ones that I've used all the ones up till now. That's basically sessions, users, new users, total time page, etc. And in the fourth example, I'm using city as my dimension and then channel grouping as my other dimension. And literally the same exact metrics for this example as well. So this is how you use super metrics to extract data with zero coding knowledge and if you want to see what I've done up till now I am putting my LinkedIn description below and if you have any questions regarding this specific example you can shoot me a connection invite and just mention that hey I watched a video and I'm sending this uh, and once you send me that request uh, we can connect and we can basically discuss any problems or any questions that you have or you can leave me a comment below <clears throat> if you want to <clears throat> extract if you don't have any data sources and you want to use this data set I have a, a Google form that is in the description below as well and you can just fill up that Google form and I will email you that data set so that you can work on it. So if you like this video, I would recommend or I would suggest like subscribing uh, and liking the video and maybe leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer any of those questions. And in my next video, I would be talking about the second most important skill that you need to become a successful data analyst. 
and that is data manipulation so uh, the link to the second video is right up there and you can go over to the next video to learn the next skill so i'll see you on my next video